they don't even try to hide it anymore, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, this is this is sick. We're going to get into all the details of it, guys. First, if you could, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Also, guys, if you could, please consider making a generous donation here to our ministry as we're demonetized on YouTube. They don't support what we do, but you could help us out in a major way if you enjoy the daily content we put out talking about end-time Bible prophecy headlines and our ministry here of getting people to Jesus Christ. You can help out through PayPal or Patreon, or even just five bucks a month on Patreon get you bonus content. Plus, we include the links to the YouTube videos there so you get all alerts when new content arrives. You can comment there, censorship free, send me direct messages. Patreon is a great way to stay up to date with all the content that we put out. Also, big reminder, sub to me on Rumble. That's our backup in case we're kicked off of YouTube. We're already posting there, so go check it out. All the links are down below. A big thank you to everybody who's already contributing. And for those of you thinking of doing so, thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So our good friend, Dr. Fauci, he was conducting a virtual lesson, a virtual teaching seminar for people in Canada. And telling Canadians as if, you know, he doesn't, I guess he was taking a short break from lecturing Americans. So he decided he would go and lecture the Canadians instead. And during this virtual hearing, this virtual teaching, whatever you want to call it, lecture, he talks to the Canadians about the fact that obviously everybody has personal liberties. And he says, I think that's a great thing. However, however, as a member of society, as a member of society, we're going to come back to that in just a second. There comes a time when everybody has to realize that you have to give up your individual right to make your own decisions when it comes to impacting the greater good. And by the greater good, he means taking the Rona jab. I I'm sorry. Where in our Constitution does it say that we get to a point where we have to give up our individual right to make our own decision? Because that's just basically submitting our freedoms on a silver platter and giving over to people like Fauci or Biden or whatever other tyrannical world leader you want to pick. Pick Justin Trudeau. We're talking about Canada here. This is who Fauci's talking to. He says this with such conviction. And he's so honest about it. You know why? Because he believes it. Because he actually believes it. That's why. The greater good of society. Because he said that you are afforded such wonderful things in this world, in, in this society, and that you owe it to your society as a loyal member of it to do what is best to preserve it. Preserve it by getting the jab, obeying, making sure you don't infect people. You see, that's where your individual liberties and decisions stop, is at the jab. Maybe we'll let you decide what you want to wear every day or what maybe what you want to have to drink. Maybe. But that's about it. When it comes to these decisions that are medical related, whatever it may be, no, no, no. You no longer have that right. Here's the thing that gets me. People buy it. People listen to it. They will. I, I, I've seen it. I've heard from people. I've had people leave me comments on my videos agreeing with him. I don't think these are just trolls either. These are people that truly hang on every word this man says. Every word of it. That language of the greater good, that's New World Order language, ladies and gentlemen. That is the language of the beast, of the Antichrist. Because you will be instructed to do what's right for the greater good when he comes to power. Well, I'm not saying that's Fauci by any means, but I'm saying he's a puppet. He's a part of that system, along with many others that are conditioning people, getting them ready for what's to come. Getting them ready and used to giving up freedoms. Because people will actually buy into the fact that if they do that, we'll keep everybody safe. It'll be for the greater good of society. We want society to continue. We love our world. We want the greater good, don't we? I mean, at the surface of it, it sounds like a good thing, right? Does it sound good? Uh, not so much.
Do you realize? I mean, think about it. Do you realize how close we are to the end? To the return of Jesus Christ? These people like Fauci are the mouthpieces of Satan. That's exactly what they are. Has your brain been, 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 been completely taken over by them? Have you allowed Satan to enter in and get to you through these people? To get you to actually think that there comes to a point where every person has to give up their individual right to make their own decision? That's a complete nonsense. I could, I could say another word, but I'm not going to. But you know what that is. These people are out of their mind. They're being controlled by Satan. So what can we really expect, right? You want to see a clip of Fauci saying this? Check it out down below. I'll include it for you in the description. But before you go look at that, why not make the decision to come to Jesus Christ today? That's why we do these videos. We talk about the prophetic news headlines going on around the world because we are in the last days. And Jesus is coming back soon. We want to make sure that when you leave this world that you're with him. Not the other way around. You could do this prayer in your own words. I'll give you the steps you need to bring that prayer before the Lord. The first thing you want to do is acknowledge that you're a sinner. That's something that we all are. But God gave his only son. Here's the good news. He gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do, though, is repent of your sins. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from a lifestyle or a habit, whatever it is in your life that goes against the word of God. You ask Jesus to forgive you. He wipes that sin away. The Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. And trust me when I tell you, there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. I pray you make that decision today. I will have more for you guys on this down below. Again, I'll include that clip. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you could help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.